So why did you fail? What are some things you didn't do? You got to figure it out. So you got to figure out why you want a fresh start, figure out the state of affairs, and then we need to identify some reasons, some things that weren't working, because if we're just going to go back and do the same things over and over again, people say, oh, I don't like to focus on my weaknesses. I don't like to think about the things that didn't work. Look, I don't want you to dwell on the things that didn't work. I don't want you to feel sorry for all the things that weren't working. I want you to figure out what those things were so we can get them on the table. We could talk about them. How are you going to overcome something that you you aren't ready to admit was a problem? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Momentum Monday podcast. My name is Steve Holbrook, and I'm excited to be here today. As you can tell, we are off location. We are out of the studio. We're at the family ranch. I'm sitting here at the kitchen delivering to you Momentum Monday podcast. If you're listening to this on podcast, you can't see it. It is a beautiful backdrop looking outside. It's a bit of a rainy day here today, but I'm excited for the podcast. I'm excited for the show. This show means a lot to me because I have had a fresh start many times in my life. I've had fresh starts at rock bottom. I've had fresh starts when things are okay. I've had, I've had fresh starts at the top of the game. So today we're talking about how to create a fresh start. Now you might need a fresh start in a relationship. You might need a fresh start in a business. It might be time for a fresh start in your health. I'm not necessarily saying you need to abandon what you're doing. You don't have to get rid of your partner or change everything that you're doing. You're not starting from zero. You're creating a fresh start. There's lots of times in my marriages over the last 10, in, our, in my marriage, marriages, I've only been married once. There's a lot of time times in my marriage where I've started fresh. You know, sometimes you feel like you're in a bit of a rut or you want to start a new chapter. You want to get excited about something new. You need to create a fresh start. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So we appreciate you being here. Take a minute, please. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. If you're on iTunes or Spotify, it'd be awesome if you shared it with a few people that you care about. And I hope you're as excited for this as I am. You guys ready? All right, let's get into it. Here we go. All right, how to create a fresh start. Number one, acknowledge why you want a fresh start. Acknowledge why you want a fresh start. Look, if you've been listening to my podcast for a while or you've been watching all my YouTube videos, you hear me talk about why a lot. Clarity of why, clarity of purpose. If you really want a fresh start, you gotta get super clear on why. I want you to write it down. Why do you want a fresh start? What is it about a fresh start that appeals to you? You need to really figure it out because I think a lot of people think they want a fresh start. A lot of people are like, oh, I got to get out of this rut or I have to get out of this situation or I've had this thinking and it needs to change. And they're kind of one, you know, one, one foot in, one foot out. If you really want a fresh start in an era of your life, you need to acknowledge why. What is it about that relationship or what is it about that situation? What is it about where you're at in your business? What is it about your health? Where are you at? How bad is it? How far have you fallen? How much attention have you not been paying to it? Where are we at? You need to get a clear picture on why you want a fresh start and really what the state of affairs is regarding the issue that you want a fresh start on. You really need to take a look, a deep dive because this may not be an overnight fix, but if you're ready for a fresh start, and you know why you want a fresh start and you know specifically what you what you need a fresh start in or for and you are ready for that change that's number 1 number 2 is i want you to identify what wasn't working in the past i you know people throw around the word failure all the time you know i failed or listen did you really fail or, or was it just a learning experience? Everything is just a learning experience. Is it a good learning experience? Is it a bad learning experience? Okay. But I want you to figure out why is your relationship stale? You know, what, what wasn't working? What weren't we doing? We weren't booking the date nights. We did not have open lines of communication. We didn't respect each other enough. My health, right? I didn't take it seriously. I tried four diets, never followed through. There was no accountability. I bought the, the ultra gym membership with the towel service and I went there twice. So why did you fail? 
What are some things you didn't do? You got to figure it out. So you got to figure out why you want a fresh start, figure out the state of affairs, and then we need to identify some reasons, some things that weren't working because if we're just going to go back and do the same things over and over again, People say, oh, I don't like to focus on my weaknesses. I don't like to think about the things that didn't work. Look, I don't want you to dwell on the things that didn't work. I don't want you to feel sorry for all the things that weren't working. I want you to figure out what those things were. So we can get them on the table. So we can talk about them. How are you going to overcome something that you, you aren't ready to admit was a problem? That's going to be important here if, if you're serious about a fresh start. You know, I've start and stop before my fresh starts many times because I fall into the same pattern. If you don't want to fall into the same pattern, you got to do things differently. Number three, you got to set some new goals. You got to set some new goals, some fresh goals. And if you're going to set some goals, I love using the SMART tactic for setting goals, S-M-A-R-T. S stands for specific, M stands for measurable, A stands for attainable, R stands for relevance, and of course, T stands for time bound, time attached to it. You got to set some goals. When's the last time you sat down and set some fresh goals? Wait, let me guess. January 1st to start the year. Just like the time before that was January 1st before that. And I rewrite my goals all the time. You want a fresh start? You need some fresh goals, some things that excite you. And this time, you're actually going to write them down and you're actually going to read them. You're actually going to read them. And there's this, there this great study done at Harvard many years ago. They interviewed the gra a graduating class at Harvard MBA. They did a full interview and talked about goals. They asked them, you know, do you have goals? Do you write your goals down? Do you read your goals? And listen to this. They interviewed the same group 10 years later, 10 years later. And the 3% of Harvard graduates from that class, the 3% of them that wrote their goals down and read them every day was earning, ready for this? The 3% were earning more money than the other 97% combined. Combined. So you need some new goals. You need some fresh goals. And you need to write them down. Go we'll get a new book. Figure it out. If you can't get past this right here, you will be in a rut for the rest of your life. And you might crawl out of it for a week or two or a year. You'll always find a way back into it. Keep doing the same thing over and over again. I'm talking if you want to break free. If you want to get out of those shackles, I'm going to set some new goals. And I highly recommend using the SMART tactic to do it. You got all your bases covered. And then don't forget to review them every single day. Number four, I want you to identify three go-to people. I want you to identify three go-to people. You might have 20 relationships, right? You might have four. Who are the three people in your life that, that are your go-to? These are people that are positive. These are people that are supportive. These are people that believe in you. These are people that if your car broke down in the middle of the night, you could call these people. Who are these people? I recommend having three. Three people that you say, listen, if I'm going to go and get these goals and I'm going to turn my if into a when, if that's going to happen, if this is the time that I start fresh and I go on a big run, I'm going to need some people around me because it's going to get hard. And I'm going to feel like quitting. And you don't need these people just to call and complain. You shouldn't just be calling these people and venting. But you just get around these people. Proximity. On a call. On a Zoom call. Go for coffee. If, they're, if, they're, you, know, if you can't meet over COVID, then do what you need to do virtually. But I, I, I always have a, a, a go-to three. And they rotate at times depending on where those people are at in their life. But those three people should all be really good up here, really strong up here. Because if you're going to start fresh, you're going to need some support. You're going to need some good people around you. You're going to need some people that believe in you. 
And if you're going to add those three or you're going to focus in on those three, there's probably two or three you should probably move away from if you want a fresh start, right? It's just an opportunity to start fresh with everything. Number five, I want you to change your routine or your environment. So you need to change up. You got to change your routine, change your environment. If you, if, if you want a fresh start and you get up the next morning, you're doing the same thing you've always done and you get into that, that pattern, that habit, the subconscious mind, you're just going to drift through that day like you always do, like you've been training yourself to do. So you'll see I'm here at the ranch today. I changed up my environment. I'm looking for a fresh start in some areas of my life. So what do I do? I change it up a little bit. I get out of town. I do all my meetings from a hotel or I do all my meetings from a different place. I switch it up. Right? Maybe change the days you work out a little bit. But there's got to be something about your environment or something about your routine that you change up. Maybe you show up to work a little bit different time. Maybe you take a different, a different route to work. Maybe you change up your date night. You figure it out. Maybe you do Thursday between 8 a.m. and noon. You do those appointments right, from a different location. You work from home in the morning. Or you actually go to the office in the morning. Change up the environment. Change the routine. Change the game. And when that starts to change, you start telling your subconscious mind, okay, okay, we were comfortable for a while. And the things that we were doing, we were, yeah, we were in a pretty, we were in a pretty mundane routine there for a while. Those are no longer acceptable because now I have to actually think because I'm changing things up. I'm keeping it fresh. New environment, new routine, something new. Change the time you wake up. Change the time you work out. Maybe, you need a, maybe you've been working out for a couple of years now. Great. Good job. Maybe change up the way you work out. You've been bodybuilding, go to CrossFit. You've been CrossFit, go to bodybuilding. If you've been running, maybe walk and lift some weights. Like change it up with, revi- with environment or routine. And that's really going to help with this fresh start. And number six, my final key to having a fresh start is have fun. Have fun. Guys, you know what? I look at my life now and, and compared to where I was in my 20s and my early 30s, and man, I, I love my life. I, I love where I'm at. But I think if I could go back into my early 20s and I could tell myself one thing, I, I would have just reminded myself to, to have fun. And although I had a blast and I, you know, I laid it all in the field most days, I, I would still go back and remind myself, hey, have fun. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy these new challenges of starting fresh. Enjoy them. They're fun challenges because you know what? Man, life moves quick. Life is, life is, blo- is, is blowing us by. If we're not careful, we're going to miss it. So lo- Listen. I understand you want to start fresh. I understand there's an area in your life that you want to improve. But while you're working on that, enjoy the ride. Enjoy the journey. Be fun to be around. Have a genuine love for, have a genuine love for life. You know what? It's going to make the whole thing worth it. And you're not going to be afraid to start fresh. Because you're going to associate starting fresh with having fun again. And playing loose. So I encourage you, every so often, I want you to give yourself permission to hit the reset button and have a fresh start. And those six keys that I gave you, those are six keys that I think are extremely important if you're dead serious on having a fresh start. So I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you for joining us on Momentum Monday podcast. I love this time together. I look forward to this every single week. I wish I could just sit in the studio all day and do a Mental Monday podcast every single day. Maybe one day that dream will come true, but we appreciate you being here today. Please, again, give it some love, share it with some friends, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody.